Hi everyone, this is Professor Hall. Welcome back to our second in our series on transitions. This time we're going to look at transitional sentences. Last time we just talked about cohesion, coherence, um, and what transitional words were. And now we're going to go into a little bit more detail about transitional phrases and sentences. So let's get started. So to recap, what is a transition? In an essay, a transition is a word or phrase, that's a group of words, or a sentence that helps move from one idea to the next. Transitions can help with coherence, organizing your thoughts, and cohesion, connecting or linking ideas. Once in a while, we use signpost words like first, second, and third, later than, next, um, even words like however, therefore, in contrast. Um, the ones above show a sequence or chronology, but there are other types of words as well that we talked about. We talked about a lot of different categories, showing a result, um, showing a comparison, um, adding ideas, proving ideas, and so on. More often, though, we use inter internal transitional phrases between sentences to connect ideas inside a paragraph and external transitional sentences to connect ideas from one paragraph to the next. So when I first teach transitions, I think people just want to know how to use signpost words and where to use them. So the signpost words, as I showed last time, you're using in between sentences inside a paragraph. And a lot of times at the end of one paragraph or the start of another paragraph to help connect those ideas. But if you just use transitional word, um, just the signpost word can end up with a little bit of a choppy paragraph and it, it sticks out a bit too much. So what we're going to do is talk about how to change from just a signpost word to a smoother sentence to have a little bit more elevated writing and have better flow. So here's a paragraph that we looked at last time and this is our second draft of it, meaning the first draft didn't have any of these yellow words and we've added now these signposts. Yesterday, Mark had his first date with Catherine. Mark took Catherine to dinner and a movie. Later, Mark tried to kiss Catherine. When she slapped him, they drove home in silence. So all of these are chronological words. Yesterday, later, and when. There are still some details missing. The timeline is a bit more clear than if we didn't have them at all. So we see the sequence of events, and it is a little bit easier to connect ideas, but it's not quite all the way there. So instead, let's try to smooth it out with some transitional phrases. Yesterday, Mark had his first date with Catherine. Catherine agreed to go, but only as friends because she has a boyfriend. Hoping to impress her, he took her to dinner and a movie. However, Mark broke their agreement and tried to kiss Catherine, so she slapped him. Then she called her boyfriend and told him what happened. Instead of the ice cream Mark planned to end the evening, they drove home in silence. This is a lot more clear. Now, you might think at first that this is kind of cheating because in the blue, there's been a lot of details added to the story. But sometimes that's something that you'll have to do. If you're writing, especially, and I mentioned this before, especially if you have a personal narrative where it's some events that have happened to you, your reader won't really understand what's going on if you don't fill in the gaps. So now we understand why Catherine slapped Mark. She has a boyfriend. She said that she would go with him to dinner in the movies as a friend. And then he tried to kiss her anyway. So at the same time, we do have um, some transitional phrases. Instead of the ice cream he planned to end the evening, comma, they drove home in silence. So now we have that detail added and it transition on, transitions us from her slapping him to them driving home. And that's basically how transitions work. They help to fully connect those ideas. 
hoping to impress her. No signpost words are used there, but again, it connects the idea of Merck taking Catherine out um, to where they went to both dinner and a movie, and apparently they were going to have ice cream afterwards too. So I hope you can kind of see how adding those transitional phrases and also adding extra details can help. In the next example, we're not really going to add any extra details, but we are going to add some more transitional sentences instead of just the signposts. So here were our two paragraphs with our signpost words. Theodore Geisel was born on March 2nd, 1904 in Springfield, Massachusetts. Eventually, Geisel left home to attend Dartmouth. However, Geisel and his friend were caught drinking in his dorm room one night in violation of prohibition law. Therefore, he was kicked off the magazine staff. Finally, Geisel graduated from Dartmouth. Um, he attended Oxford University with plans to become a professor. Also, he met his future wife, Helen Palmer. Later, he dropped out of Oxford. So I mentioned this before. We have some time words with eventually and finally and later. Also is a word for adding a point. However, is a comparison word and therefore is showing a result. So this paragraph, is these two paragraphs are okay, but to fully connect ideas and to smooth things out, we're going to add some transitional sentences. So here is our first change. Instead of just eventually, we've changed this to at the age of 17. Geisel left home to attend Dartmouth College where he became editor-in-chief of its humor magazine, The Jack-O-Lantern. That makes a lot more logical sense. Having the phrase there at the age of 17 instead of just the word eventually, eventually could mean anything. <laughs> and it's such a big jump from him being born to going to college. So you don't want to say eventually when he was 38 years old um, in people's minds or does eventually mean like he was 12 or 13. Um, then we have our second edition. However, one night Geisel threw a party. Since they had nowhere else to go, Geisel and his friends stayed in his dorm room and were caught drinking in violation of prohibition law. It's not quite as big of a detail ad as with Mark and Catherine, but it does help to logically show why they were caught drinking. As a result, he was kicked off the magazine staff. Now, we could have had the word therefore um, in there, but I think that as a result fits a little bit better because you're saying a direct result of this violation. Sorry, guys. Really hard to, to write with a mouse. Um, so... We're connecting the violation directly to being kicked off the magazine. Finally, after four years, Geisel graduated from Dartmouth and was admitted to Oxford University. So instead of just saying he graduated, he was admitted. Um, after four years, we have added. And then we have this word added, just an and. It is a transition. It's adding a point. Um and it just connects the ideas a little bit more smoothly instead of having those short, choppy sentences. While at Oxford, he met his future wife, Helen Palmer, whom he married in 1927. So now we have finally un an understanding of why this sentence about Helen was thrown into the middle of this paragraph. Um, instead of just saying also, we have while at Oxford. And again, it might not look like a transitional phrase because it doesn't have one of those key signal post signpost words, but it definitely is a transitional phrase. So finally, he graduated from Dartmouth while at Oxford. He met his future wife. Later, they decided to have a family, so he dropped out of Oxford. Um, we've got that signpost word. I'm going to erase. There we go. We have the signpost word later um, to connect that idea. So I hope that you can see with this short example how transitional phrases and sentences connect the ideas. The first version of this, if you remember from last time, but even the second draft, 
was still quite a bit choppy. And those signal phrases sometimes um, stuck out a little bit too much. So we've kept a couple of them. We kept however, we kept finally, and we kept later. Um, therefore, we changed as a result. They kind of mean the same thing. Um, but the, the stuff in the blue fully connects the ideas, especially in that second paragraph um, where he graduates, then he goes to Oxford, he meets his wife, and then they decide to have a family. And that's the reason he dropped out of Oxford and moved back to the United States. Um, a lot more clear. The ideas are well organized um, and we didn't change the organization, but we did help with cohesion. We did help to have those ideas stick together and logically move from one to the next. So things to remember. Signposts can sometimes be used to show time passing or help mark a shift in ideas. But transitional phrases and sentences help smooth things out. They make your essay less choppy and they help you move logically from one idea to the next. And moreover, they help you fully connect your ideas. So next time, we're going to talk a little bit more about transitional sentences and how to write them. That's it. Thanks.